Albums being too long is a problem that I've had with modern day, not really even modern day, just recent hip hop albums. I think it's probably the most glaring problem. I think it's led to a lot of other problems that I think, yeah, I just, I think you could tie it into a lot of other problems that people have. I don't think, obviously the mid, like the term calling things mid would obviously still be a thing, but I definitely don't think it'd be as popular. Like that's how deep I think it goes on like the recent trend of albums being longer in this new streaming era. And I'll go ahead and tell you why, because the rappers don't necessarily think about the faults of making your album 21 songs long and half the songs being mid. Yeah, you might have a hit song, but you're losing a lot of replayability, at least in my opinion. Like, think of it this way. 13 songs, right? Heck, even 16. I think the longest an album should ever be is 18 songs. Now, there are definitely... You know, it depends. There's definitely, like, a couple unique scenarios or some exceptions. But 18 should probably be the max, like, depending on what kind of rapper you are. 18 of your best songs, right? 18, 16 of your best songs. That is so much more replayable because it's 16. Multiple people are replaying multiple different songs. But instead, you drop, like, 25 and then, like, a few of them are obviously going to go down the drain. Sorry, I took a sip of my tea. And then and then that leads to people, more people calling your album mid. Especially if, like, half the songs are just average songs. Then that leads to, like, your album getting looked at worse because there's more middle-of-the-ground, like, middle-of-the-road songs. Gunna, for example. This would not have happened. You cut that album in half, boom, it's, like, ten times better. It's a great Gunna album, or not arguably better than Wanna, but a lot of really great, a lot of jewels, you know, a lot of diamonds on that record. Offset's newest album is an example of one that I feel like was able to kind of carry itself a little better than a lot of other ones have. Um, do I think the album would have been better with a few mid records cut and a few certain weaker ones? Yes, absolutely. Which you you can say that you can make that argument for literally every album ever, but. Not, I don't think so because, I don't know, I just feel like it's just, you can't really, it's harder to be like, yeah, this album's mid if there's one or two mid songs, but the rest of them are great because, I mean, you, you certain rappers, even if you shorten that album time down, they might just think, everyone thinks it's mid, but they might think it's an absolute hit and they're going to put it on there. You can't escape that. You can't escape like a mid release here and there, you know, you can't escape it, but that's not going to lead over half your songs being mid. That's not going to lead to... Like, everyone calling your album mid. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've said mid way too much already. But I know the picture y'all are looking at. This is not even a hip-hop release. This is a Mac DeMarco album. I haven't even listened to this album. I've never even heard a Mac DeMarco song in my life. I just I remember someone saying that the album was eight hours long. And so I just I thought it was such a funny example that I just decided to use it as the picture to talk over. Um, but most rappers now, as of right now, cannot get, like... An, a long album and they can't carry it as long as they can yeet wasn't able to do it there are like yeet gonna little baby wasn't able to do it little baby can't do it money i already know the money bag yo album's probably gonna be like 20 something songs he ain't gonna be able to do it just there's so many that are just not able to do it like they think they can and yeah it might bolster your your initial streams but it's going to lead to your album not being talked about as much. Why do you think no one talks about that little baby record? That his newest one. Because <laughs> it's all mid except for like a few songs. You cut that album in half, boom. I, I bet you it would be talked about a lot more. Um, Drake's record, Drake's album, too long in my opinion. I think a, I think a problem with For All The Dogs is that it was too long. You know what I'm saying? Um, certain artists though can get away with it. Travis Scott, 19 song album. Travis Scott is definitely one of the rappers now that can carry a long album by himself. Especially Utopia. You can throw a couple more tracks on Utopia. And I feel like if they're as good as other songs and like they they match the greatness of that album and they're not mid songs on there, definitely. I think honestly the only thing it can do is make it better, in my opinion. But, you know, I just it's kind of hard to say because we're kinda of out of that era. Look at Culture One by the Migos, for example. Much longer talked about, much, I feel like people genuinely find it as the consensus, you want to know why? 
because Culture 2 was way like double the size and it was longer. There's a lot more songs on there that go under the under people's radar now than Culture's. Now Culture was also lightning in a bottle. However, I still think that's a good ex- I still think that's a good example to be honest with you. Um, and deluxe deluxe records like stop doing deluxe albums. They're not really a trend anymore because definitely nowhere near as many people drop col- like deluxe albums as they used to back when Lil Uzi did it and then everyone decided it was a great idea to add 21 more songs into your album and then be like, yeah, that's a deluxe edition. However, one thing I've noticed that some rappers do, they drop these deluxe versions with like one bonus song. Stop doing that and it will be the same cover I, I I need to do a video on like bad album covers and like how they're low key like I've noticed they're getting worse, but their alternate covers for their vinyls are even like three times better. But like Megan Thee Stallion's a new one. But anyway, that's just that's just how I think about it right now. Just I, I really wish albums were shorter because it would just honestly it'd be better. Heck, it'd be better for like me because I'm where I'm reviewing music. I it would give me like more time on my hands to listen to music, like to listen to the album. Uh Uh-oh, I'm getting a phone call. All right, anyway.